I am Lanny Sarum, uh, actress and author of Handbook for Mortals, uh, which is a book that is being turned into a major motion picture. And my name is Thomas Ian Nicholas. Uh, you might best know me as Kevin Myers from American Pie or uh, Henry Rohngartner from Rookie of the Year. And we are here in Philly. Three movies that have come out, the first of which was uh, Trailer Park Shark. Thank you, Vanna White. Um, and it was uh, a sci-fi shark movie that came out in the summer, August last year. It was a lot of fun. It's kind of like shark. Around like a tile, you know, like Vanna turns the tiles around. She turns the tiles around? Is there words on the back? No, no, you know, like there's letters and then they spell words and then she turns them. And, and she used to have to turn the tiles and now it's digital. So she really has no purpose. But, but they still let her there. So, so she just like. That's terrible. Are you trying to fire Vanna White? I mean, she taps a digital screen. They don't need her to tap the screen for the letter to turn around. It would be terrible if they didn't have Vanna going over there. I'm anyway. Not, I'm not, I mean, she should be there. You don't even, you don't even let me. Why did they replace the board? At least then she still had to move. They should have just left the board the way it was and let her move the tiles. You know, everyone's got to go digital. I don't know what to tell you. Poor Vanna. I, I'm voting for the old board to come back. A film that I produced and starred in that was called The Lost Tree. It came out in theaters in October, Living Among Us. Came out in theaters in uh, February. Um, and now it's uh, available on streaming platforms and, uh, and available in stores. In fact, Living Among Us uh, was a big win for my production company because it got picked up by Vision and Sony Pictures. Uh, and then obviously, Handbook for Mortals will be uh, one of the future projects that I will be producing into a feature film. Uh, I don't have any visual aids for the other movies, but I am producing a neo-noir drama next month called Adverse, a comedy entitled Bitcoin, a comedy called Stealing Paul Rudd. Since then, I've signed on, and now it's called Stealing Tom Nichols. So I've, still, I've stolen Paul Rudd's job, why, and... Why do you hate Paul Rudd? Oh, I love Paul Rudd, but... Um, Took his job away. I thought I was more suited for the, uh, for the gig. But if Paul Rudd came back and said that he wanted the job, would you give it back to him? Yeah, I would give it back to him. I'm, I'll still direct it and produce it, and then I would, I would replace myself with Paul Rudd. So, Paul, if, if you want your movie role back, just let us know. It's, your, it's still yours. Call us. You could be, you could be my runner-up. You were the first choice and my runner-up. Paul Rudd, call us. We thank you so much for walking. Wa <laughs> Thanks for walking in on Weekend Filler, where we don't know how to talk. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Weekend Filler. Make sure to never touch that dial, and hopefully we'll be back next year.